Now this is an incredible discovery in one of our beloved Great Lakes. Yes, absolutely. The Atlanta, a schooner barge, sank in 1891. It's been discovered at the bottom of Lake Superior. Mm. Joining us now to talk about this incredible discovery, Corey Atkins from the Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society. Good morning, Corey. Thanks for being with us. Hey guys, how are you? Hi, Michelle. Good Hi. to see you. Good to see you, my friend. So <laughs> tell us all about this schooner and the significance of finding it in Lake Superior. Well, last year we had a very we had a very awesome uh, season as far as um, shipwreck hunting. Uh, our, our director of marine operations, Zero Ertel, um, found quite a few shipwrecks, and the Atlanta was one of them. This is significant because it's so deep. It's 650 deep foot deep in the water, in a place where divers really can't go. And the story is quite amazing um, behind the shipwreck. So. Nobody has seen this wreck for 130 years. And when we put the uh, ROV down on the shipwreck, um, when we saw the name, or I wasn't on the boat, but when, the, when they saw the nameplate that said Atlanta, everybody cheered and um, that nameplate is still beautiful after 130 years sitting on the bottom of Lake uh, Superior. And I read, uh, Corey, sort of a bit of this story. You sent us an email about it. and. You know, an interesting story, like you said, it, it sounded like, you know, they were in sort of a storm. Can you tell us a little bit about how this wreck happened? Yeah, um, uh, Lake Superior isn't known for its shipwrecks in, in May, but uh, uh, this happened on May 4th, 1891, and the Atlanta was being towed by the steamer Wilhelm. They got caught in a, a bad northwest gale, and um, uh, the tow line broke, which le left the Atlanta um, fending for itself. So when the tow line broke, um, somehow all three masts were taken out too. So that means that they didn't have any power whatsoever. So they were at the mercy of the lake. When uh, the, So the Atlanta started getting um, uh, blown back towards uh, Chris Point and uh, they decided it was a time to abandon ship. So the seven crew members got into a lifeboat and started rowing to shore um, for Chris Point, um, but the, the waves, the breakers really got to them. The ship overturned, or the, the lifeboat overturned, and um, there was actually a, a gentleman um, at the Chris Point Life Station, one of the, the watchmen, thought that their overturned vessel was a tree trunk. And somebody walking on shore, a pedestrian of that day, said, notice that there were people out there. By the time uh, he got to, to the Chris Point Life Station, and the, the, the life-saving station at Chris Point actually got to the people. There were only two survivors left. Mm. Five died. Wow. That's a crazy story. And mm -hmm. Corey, um, if people want to learn more, what can they do? Um, we, are, you know, we, we have a bunch of uh, more information on the website. And um, we will you know, just log on to shipwreckmuseum.com or come up and visit us in this, you know, this season. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of interesting and awesome stuff going on up there this year. I bet. Well, Corey, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for taking time out to chat with us this morning. Thank you. Good seeing you guys.